Hey, I am Christopher Cola Gaming, and welcome back to JMR Recap, a show that apparently hates sticking to upload schedules. Yeah, this episode's a couple days late, but hey, so is race three of the actual Marvel Rally, so I guess me and JMR are on the same playing field. But anyway, we're going to be talking about the A and B League race of race two of the Sand Marvel Rally Season 7. So yeah, let's get into the B League race. <laughs> This race immediately saw El Capitan take the lead from the top of the starting gate, a trend breaker as that's the least common side of the starting gate to take the lead early, and El Capitan would end up holding the lead for a while as Summer Sky, Wisp of Darkness, and Quicksilver would start to funnel behind them. As the race progressed a little further, we would see El Capitan take a pretty big lead over the rest of the field. But the rest of the field was all still pretty compact, so it was really anyone's race for second, despite the fact Deep Ocean did have a slight couple lengths lead over the rest of the field at this certain point. It wouldn't be until about 47 seconds into the race where we see El Capitan reappear on screen, as they were taking a bit of a slow route to the Helices, letting Wisp of Darkness and Quicksilver close up slightly on El Capitan. This would be short-lived though, as El Capitan would end up speeding back up off into the distance, possibly learning from Blue Moon last A-League race, and learning that it's probably not the best idea to halt the brakes, even if you have a big lead. El Capitan would go on to never relinquish their lead, and Wisp of Darkness came in second in a close fight with Quicksilver across the line, who came in third? El Capitan was the only podium finishing Marvel from last race to podium again, going from a bronze last race to a gold this race. Our gold medalist from last race, Green Turtle, finished with a rather unimpressive eighth place, and our silver medalist from last race finished right behind Green Turtle in ninth place. Big Pearl has shown a Team Galactic like consistency so far with back to back fifth places in the first two races. Cobra technically did better than they did last race, scoring 3 points for the last race's 2, but they're not having the best start to their Marvel Rally campaign. Speaking of the overall standings, El Capitan currently leads the B-League with 2 medals, and he leads by 5 points over 2nd place Green Turtle. Our biggest gainer of leaderboard positions after this race is our 3rd place, Wisp of Darkness, who gained 5 spots, jumping from 8th place to 3rd place after this race. Big Pearl, who looks suspiciously like Marbley McMarbleface on this graphics, back-to-back 5th -back places, unfortunately do not put them in 5th, but in 6th. Cobra currently sits in last place with 5 points, which is honestly probably what you should expect from Cobra. They're not gonna impress you that much, historically speaking. But um, that's all the stats we have for the B-League race, so let's move over to the A-League race. This race immediately saw Reflector get out to a lead, with Puyo Loco and Phoenix in second, but that would be very short-lived. About 5 seconds later, we, we go into this wide turn, which the entire top 4 does not take very well, letting Super Ball rocket into first place. This course is a much faster course compared to the B-League race, and it's also a much wider course compared to the B-League race, which allows for a much faster racing, as the marbles aren't bouncing off the walls nearly as much. This is also at the point in the race where Dragon's Egg would, would fly off the course, the first DNF of the entire season. We then see a sequence of good moves by Reflector that helped them get all the way up into third place. First, taking the upper line on the split paths, which ended up being the faster of the two paths. They then managed to jump the ramp wall, letting them settle into fourth place, passing four marbles at once. And then they also managed to pass Nemo shortly after that to get all the way up into third, after being in eighth place just moments ago. As the racers started to approach the finish line, we saw lots of position jostling between our top three through these wide sections that let them gain a lot of speed in short bursts. There are lots of position jostling would end with Reflector taking the lead with Super Bowl in second. Reflector will be able to hold that lead in the final straightaway, letting them get their first win in their history of their Marble Rally competitions. Super Bowl would come in second and Puyo Loco would come in third, respectively. We only had one marble from the race 1 podium, repeat podiums of race 2, that being Super Bowl, who got bronze of race 1 and silver in race 2. Both of our other podium finishers from last race, Grasshopper and Blue Moon, got 15th and 16th, scoring 1 point each. So not the best follow-up races for our top 2 from last race. Our reigning Marble Rally champion, Slimer, would DNF this race, obviously scoring 0 points, which is um, another lackluster race in race 2 of their title defense season. Now looking at our overall standing, Super Bowl currently holds the lead with their 2 medals and 31 points. That is 1 point over Reflector, this race's winner, who has 30 points. Grasshopper still does remain in 3rd, despite only scoring 1 point, as their 20 points from their victory in race 1 is keeping them up there. 
At the moment, Super Bowl is the only auto-qualified Marvel for this season, who is currently above the bottom six racers. Ghost Plasma, Slimer, and Duct Tape are all currently in the bottom six, while Super Bowl is in first. Duct Tape is especially weird because they're actually currently tied for last with Silver Bolt, only having two points. Super Bowl is also the only Marble Rally racer with a championship in the top 10, as two second place to 10th place are all racers who have only ever had moderate success in their career. So with the way this season is shaping up, we could see a lot of racers who haven't had the most storied of histories making runs at a potential championship this season. That's really all I have to say. So, um, I've been Christopher Cola Gaming, and this has been JMR Recap. Uh, I'll see you for the Race 3 Recap. A couple days after Race 3 happens. We still don't know when Race 3 is going to happen. I know it says every Tuesday and Friday on the screen, but I don't really know when that's uh, that JMR Recap episode is going to be. But anyway, I've been Christopher Cole Gaming. Uh, subscribe if you want to, and I will hopefully see you next time.